Lawrence, we've got a vertical machining centre here from Akuma. Vert the vertical machining market is, is huge in the UK. What makes this machine different? Where do you see your market with it? Yeah, you, you're right. And the vertical market is huge in the UK, but it's also probably the most competitive market. It is very price oriented and truthfully our product is at the high end, it's a premium quality product and therefore the market for us, however large the market and potentially we could sell to all of it, technically because of the price we're, we're restricted to uh, people who are looking for a premium pro quality product, maybe they want a bit more accuracy, maybe they want some more reliability or they actually like the Akuma brand. And there is a lot of those about. So let's talk about the premium quality. Tell me about some of the characteristics of the machine that make it exactly that. Yeah, th there are a lot about. And if anybody went to the Mac show recently, they will have seen this machine on our stand. And next to it was a carcass of this machine. So fundamentally the machine without any guarding. And that seemed at the time to be a brave call by some of our competitors who commented as, uh, as such. But for us, the idea is to show what's underneath the guarding and to, for people to understand maybe a price differential, they need to see what's underneath. It's very easy to put nice guards on a machine and when customers are comparing specifications, they look at x-axis, y-axis, spindle, and fundamentally it's the same machine with a different price tag. So, so what would they have seen at Mac on this Genos machine without the guarding on? What, what are those things? Well, we wanted to highlight to people who came on the stand, look at the size of the ball screws. It's a linear guideway machine. If you look at the size of the linear guideways, have a look to see that they're rollers, not balls. Also, big differential in some of the machines, have a look at the nut bracket size that holds the ball screw. Look at the rib casting underneath, just the amount of cast iron, the weight of the machine, the actual physical size. Uh, all, all of those things tell a tale and are considerably different to some of our competitors. Because what stands out straight away is, is a twin column machine here. So your, uh, your x-axis is moving on the column. Does that give you a superior rigidity and performance? Yeah, if you look at all of the high accuracy, high rigidity machines made for mold and die type industries, you'll find that that's the construction that people go for. Again, if you go back to the weight of the machine, the cast iron that's in the machine, the physical size of structure of the castings, that will tell you exactly that point. And, and that was the, what we wanted to get across to our customers. It is a monumentally substantial machine and it is our entry level machine. We are pitched in against our competitors' entry level machines but this is the build quality of our machine. Uh, so so with, there's also something I read about thermal growth. What do you do when it comes to tackling that and ensuring that the machine doesn't grow and introduce inaccuracies? For several years now, Akuma have recognized that metals grow with temperature and therefore they build into the machine design a function that will contain that. So all Akuma machines are, are built such that any growth will be a linear growth so they can actually contain the growth of any machine in a linear format. They then have sensors throughout the machine that will, through any temperature change, that can monitor that and adjust the machine. So we're taking a very highly accurate machine tool and making it just that little bit more accurate by controlling with our thermal concept, thermal friendly concept, the growth of the machine in a normal factory environment. Most companies will not have the ability to put these machines into a thermally controlled room. They're in a normal factory environment, the temperature changes, doors opening, closing. So we add that little bit extra inside the machine to monitor the growth. It's probably more cost efficient to actually buy the machine with that catered for than actually change the environment that the machine's in. Absolutely. And what you find with people, they'll have accuracy through the day. Somebody opens the door in the winter, they lose parts. And if people are trying to hold tolerances that are tight tolerances, you, this will maintain that throughout the day. Within 10 degrees change of temperature, we can keep within 8 microns of change. Uh, a lot of other machine tools will dip in and out of capability, so you'll have scrap material, scrap parts being produced. Let's look in this machine, because this, this is... Uh, one of the things that I like about this is, is the loading factor. You can stand at the front of the machine, the table's easily accessible. Also, the swarf clearance from left to right, that looks like you, know, you can evacuate the swarf quickly. As well as that, I also noticed the tool changes out of the way. So they paid a lot of attention to detail on how it's all laid out. Absolutely, swarf management is key. If you look in the machine, you can see they're all vertical surfaces. There's no swarf traps. We've got a lot of coolant nozzles for clearing the swarf. We've got dual swarf 
conveyors both sides we've got uh, angled guarding so we can manage the swarf um, in terms of access the table comes right to the front of the machine so it's very easy for a guy to get close for loading he's not carrying weights over a distance we've got crane access because the doors open and a big wide entrance for a guy to operate with any tools he needs as you can see the guards open the full envelope now, quite in contrast to a lot of our videos, we haven't actually spoken yet about the specification of this machine. We've focused on what you'd class as the, the long-term benefits of the yeah. Akuma Precision. Just uh, very briefly, tell me about the, the spindle speed, the spindle taper available, uh, the size of the working envelope on this machine and the tool carousel. Yeah, the machine is a 15,000 RPM spindle with BT40 and it's a 22 kilowatt motor, but it's a, one of Akuma's wide range motors, which means you can deliver the full power across the vast majority of the spindle speeds, which is very different to our competitors again. It's a 32 tool carousel, um, and as you mentioned earlier, the tool carousel is completely outside of the environment, so we're keeping all the tools clean. We're not, we haven't got a carousel inside, which is picking up swarf coolant and dirt. And then on, onto, the, uh, onto the control of this machine, because again, engineers do like to have something they might be used to, they might be used to a Fanuc or a Siemens control. Uh, is it going to be a transition, is it going to be a big curve between going from, say, those, those uh, types of controls to what you've got here? No, again, the, the control system in terms of programming is standard ISO word address program. It's G-code, so very compatible with any Fanuc G-code machines. The operator, um, in terms of operating the machine, we like operators to come and play with the machine. We find that the operators, because the machine is built by Akuma, who is a machine tool builder, operators like it because it's designed by machine tool people. So we find anybody who's operating other machines, we put them on the machine, let them play with it for half a day. Most of them find them extremely user friendly. And I'm sensing from this conversation, you're quite excited about being able to offer a vertical machining centre like this into the into the UK market? Well, we, we feel, again, if, if we look at the other machines that we compete with in terms of the rigidity, reliability, this is a premium product. Where we've sold these machines, we've got nothing but glowing praise. The tolerances we're achieving, we, we can demonstrate uh, fundamentally. Anybody who is looking for a premium product to, for vertical in any application, this will fit the bill. And it's important to mention this isn't the only size, is it? You've got various models. No, this, right? this size, and then we do a 66 size again, which is a, a, a over a metre in x-axis, and then we change to our MB size machines.